Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful stitch. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So the stitch count for this is six and then you'll add an extra three at the end. Now I'm going to do a slip knot. Now if you can't do a slip knot, just tie your yarn on your hook. Just tie it on. You can use any yarn for this. Just use the hook size it tells you on the label. You make as many sets of six as you want for the length of your blanket. So one, two, three, four, five and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've done my chain. Now I'm going to add an extra three stitches. One, two, three. Now we're going to start building the fans. You're going to skip five stitches. One, two, three, four and five. Now into the sixth stitch you're going to build a fan. Now the fan is made up of five UK treble crochets with a chain in between each stitch and if you're in the USA it's double crochets for you it's the same stitch it's just different terms so put your yarn over and go into the sixth stitch so count one two three four five into number six do your first treble crochet that's one chain one and do another one into the same stitch that's two chain one another one that's three now chain one another one that's four chain one and one more makes five So you've got this little fan here. You're going to skip five and build another fan. Skip one, two, three, four and five. And into the sixth stitch, you're going to build that fan again. So one treble crochet, chain one, into the same stitch, another one, chain one, that's two, this one's three, chain one, four, chain one, and five. Skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. So into stitch six, Build that fan again. Pull through. So that's one. Chain one. Into the same stitch. That's two. Chain one. Same stitch. Three. Chain one. four, chain one and five, all into the same stitch and this is what you've got. Now you'll do that all the way along to your last three stitches. So this is my chain of fans with the chain one in between. Now I've got three stitches left. Into the last stitch I'm going to do a UK treble crochet. So into the last stitch and do your treble crochet. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to work into the chain spaces here. So you've got your fan 
and you've got your five stitches round with your chains in between. So you're going to double crochet, that's a USA single crochet, into the first space, into the first chain space. So you're going to miss that very first stitch and miss that one and go in there and do a double crochet. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. And you're going to go into the next chain space with a double crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. You're missing that post and going in there. Double crochet. And chain three. One, two, three. So you're going right around the fan. So into that last chain space of that fan, do your double crochet. Now you're going over to the next fan. So skip the next two stitches and in to the first chain space of the next fan, do a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Into the chain space, double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. So go into the chain space again, around that fan, around the top of it, and chain three, one, two, three and into that last chain space there. Now move straight over to the next fan and do the same. So into the chain space of the next fan, double crochet. So there's no chains between the fans, just inside these spaces. So chain three, one, two, three, into the next chain space, double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and into the next chain space. All the way around your fans. One, two, three, and then into the chain space. So you should have three loops of stitches around the top of your fan like this. This is the right side and it gives it these lovely little picots stitches around the top there. So you'll skip this space here. You're going into the next fan. There's your next fan. So you're going in to the first chain space and double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, into the next chain space double crochet, one, two, three. So I've got one little fan left. So I'm going into the chain space of the fan, the first chain space of the fan. Chain three, one, two, three, into the next chain space. Do your double crochet. And if you're in the USA, these are single crochets for you. One, two, three. Into the chain space. One, two, three. It's my last one. Into the chain space. And you're going to do a double crochet into the third chain on the end. One, two, and three do a double crochet and if you're in the USA that's a single crochet for you get it into the stitch there we go and this is the back of the blanket and this is the front so you've got three little chains over the top of your fan so this chain row and this next fan row are the two rows that you'll keep repeating. So once you've done all these little chains around your fan, you're going to chain three, one, two, three, turn your work, and then into the middle one, you've got your first chain here, your second chain here, and your third chain here. Now into this middle one, 
that is the top of the fan. You're going to build this fan again. So that's five treble crochets with a chain one in between. So skip the first chain space here and go into the middle chain space. And you're going to build your fan. So that's one treble crochet, one chain, that's one. Into the same chain space, treble crochet, chain one, that's two. So treble crochet, that's three, chain one. Oops, remember your chain one. So your third treble crochet into the same space, chain one. So we've got one, two, three, that's four, chain one and treble crochet, that's five. So you've built another fan in the top. Now you're going to skip that chain and skip that chain. So skip two chains and go into the middle one of that set, into the middle chain. So skip two chains and build a fan. One treble crochet, one chain. A treble crochet, that's two. Chain one. Treble crochet, that's three. Chain one. Treble crochet, that's four, chain one, and treble crochet. That she got five. Skip that chain and skip that chain. So skip two chains and into the middle. So you're going into the middle one. You've got a chain, a chain, and a chain above your fan. You're going into the middle one. So skip that chain, skip that chain, and into this one. Build your fan. One, chain one. Two, chain one. And to the same stitch. Three, chain one. Four, chain one and five all the way along skip two chains and into the top of this one build your fan chain one so i'm on my last fan that's here so i'm going to skip two chains one two and into that top one, I'm going to build my fan. So that's one treble crochet, chain one. My second treble crochet, chain one. So number three, chain one. Number four, chain one. And the fifth one. So you'll skip this last chain and into this double crochet you're going to put a treble crochet into there. Into there. Chain one and turn. Now you're going to repeat those that chain row again. So into the first chain space of the fan, double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Into the chain space of the fan. We're going into the chain spaces. And do a double crochet. Chain one, two, three. And into the next chain space. Chain one, two, three. And into the next chain space. So that's you got three little chains around the top of your fan. So that's your fan and you're going to build your chain spaces. So go across to the next fan and in to the chain space of the fan. 
skip this middle part here, skip this big V part. So into that chain space, do a UK double crochet. And if you're in the USA, that's a single crochet for you. Chain three, one, two, three. So into the next chain space, so that's your first chain. Chain one, two, three. Into the next chain space, that's your second chain. One, two, three. And into the next chain space. And that's your third chain around that fan. And this is what it looks like. These are the two rows you'll keep repeating. This little chain row and that fan row. Over to the next one and go all along here. One, two, three. Into the next chain space. One, two. So I'm on my last fan. I'm going to do my three chain and into the double crochet, into the chain space, sorry. Then one, two, three, into the next chain space. One, two, three, and into that last chain space. And then you're going to double crochet into the top of that chain of three. Just double crochet there. Chain three, one, two, three and turn. And we're going to do the fans again. So you're doing the fan into the third chain. So you'll count, you'll skip that chain and go build a fan into that one. Skip these two chains and build a fan into that one. So there's your fan and you're going into that middle chain space and build your next fan. Skip, skip, and build your fan in that one. Skip, skip, and build your fan in that one there. So skip that chain, skip that chain, and into the top of that one. What you'll do now is you'll build your fan. Don't worry that your blanket's looking like that. It'll straighten up when you put the new fans in, and you're going into the top of each of these fans. So you've got three chain spaces and you're going in to the top one. So you've got three chain spaces again into the top one. You'll build the fan. So I've done my chain of three and turn my work. So I'm going to skip the first chain. Skip that first chain and into the middle one. You're going to build the fan. So that's one treble crochet chain one one more into the same space that's two chain one three chain one four chain one and five skip two sets of the chains and into the top of this fan so skip that chain and skip that chain and in there you'll work that fan. One, chain one. That's two treble crochets. Chain one. Three, chain one. Get some more yarn. Four, chain one and five. Skip two chains and go into the next one. Build your fan in there. So I'll work along to the end and I'll show you one more time that little three chain row and they're the two rows that you'll keep repeating. This little chain row and then the fan and you'll finish your blanket on the chain row with your fans like that. So I've got my row of my fan with my chain in the middles of them. Now into the top of this chain of three I'm going to do a treble crochet. Go to chain one and turn 
Now right into that very first stitch I'm going to do a double crochet. So into the very first fan, the, the chain space of the fan, do a double crochet, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, and then into the next chain space, do a double crochet, 1, 2, 3 chains, and into the next chain space of that fan, chain 1, 2, 3, and into the last chain space and do your fan, eh, your chain, do your double crochet. So you've got your three little chains. You're going to skip this middle section here, skip these and go into that first chain space and do a double crochet. One, two, three, and then double crochet into the chain space. So we've got one, two, I've got one more, one, two, three, and then into that last chain space of that fan, and you're going to do that all the way along and into there. You'll do that all the way along. When you get to the end, you'll do a double crochet into the top of that chain. You'll chain three and turn and start your fans again. You'll start your fan. So that's the two rows you'll keep repeating. The fan row and this little chain row. That's the two rows. It's really quick to do this. I'll get my sample back. So this is the one that I'm working on. And this is what it looks like when you've done some more rows. Remember, you're just doing the fan with the chain in between. That's five treble crochets. Then you'll do the little loop chains across the top of them. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Go straight over to the next one and do a double crochet. Then do your three sets of chain. Straight over to the next one and do your three sets of chains. So you can use any yarn for this. Just use the hook size it tells you on your label. And just rewind the video, repeat the fan row in the top of the chain there. And then do your chain row. Then a fan row, a chain row. It is really quick. Once you get the hang of us, it is really, really quick. And it is so pretty as well. Beautiful. So give this a try. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So just click on the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to any YouTube channel. And I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.